Good morning, my tractor friends. Let me show you what we're up to today and the troubles that we have. Well, I'm bringing you into this video. Uh, we're kind of already in the middle of the work, but I'll flash back and show you what happened. We're gonna see if we can figure out how to make water drain uphill. Let me tell you my two problems. I've got one problem is there's a slight grade going down this way. It's always been a problem since we've had the property because water wants to run out into the drive. There's a drive that's been here ever since we've had it and it's constantly washing out. So the second problem is right here. There is so little of a grade right here, the water will build up and actually run across what's gonna be a fut the future floor of the pole barn. And we're gonna dig down so there's a, a small grade this way, keep going down and down and down and down, and then it will drain off to the back. So you're at the back side of the barn now. The water's, we want the water to continually go down and around and out this way towards a natural drain to the back of the property. We have the power line here that we put in underground. So we've got plenty of room to work here. There's nothing over here to work with. So what we'll do is end up making a nice gradual slope. From that end, which was our low point uh, on this side of the building, it's down draining eight inches from that end down it's eight inches lower here than it is there and I can stand it in the trench I can actually see the grade so now we're going to drop another 12 inches as we go this way and the end game we'll shape these sides and it, this will be a nice smooth rounded bottom ditch that will be able to be grassed and mowed grassed grassed and mowed looks pretty good So it was about right here where I realized, you know, we're gonna have to do something different. 
Well, I didn't say it was going to be smart. I have built up a lot of faith in this T-474, but it just came to my mind right then, I'm going to hang that loader and bend it if I keep going this way. And you can see the cogs turning into my head, and I was trying to figure out a better way. What I'm doing here is I'm building up my ditch bank a little bit higher because when the rain goes really fast, you'll the water will go over, uh, build up around the culvert and go over into the drive. So I'm raising this ditch, this whole side I'm raising the elevation probably between a foot and six inches. You can see here why there's a lot of iron smelters in our area of back in the day. I may regret not getting those rippers. If I had done this in the spring when it was wet, uh, it would have ripped this up in just a short amount of time, but this was just like cutting, I mean, concrete almost. So this is the ditch that we dug a few months back and we've waited to actually start the process of smoothing it out or rounding it out. This will be, uh, be eventually be able to be mowed, but we have not had any measurable rain in 42 days. We have a very high clay content in our ground and this stuff is like concrete. I mean, the cutters just drag along, barely taking off anything off the top. So we've got a plan and see if it works. So the last time I tried to work with a bank, I used the backhoe and that really worked, but it's kind of slow and tedious. I think we could do it faster. What I'm gonna do is take the tiller here and back up into the ditch drop the tiller into the ditch and see if we can knock some of the bank down as we pull forward. So we'll just keep dropping it in the ditch, pull forward, drop it in the ditch, pull forward. And hopefully that'll get us where we can uh, soften up these edges some and pull the dirt around to where we want it. Where there's a wheel, there's a way. That old tiller was bouncing like a basketball. It was unbelievable how hard that is. This is where I come up with the idea. Maybe it'd be better if I just drove up and down the side of the uh, trench and then come back and swiped out the dirt. I am so happy that my wife remembered to close the windows on the travel trailer. That really loosened it up. I 
believe I could pull more material at once if I'd have used a box blade. However, you gotta admit, this looks pretty good the way this uh, land leveler, land plane, land leveler, uh, it's doing a good job. Hey, if you would, stay with me to the end. I'll give you a pretty good explanation of how everything went and what I was kind of thinking. Well, just looking it over, I feel pretty good about all of it. So I think we've got it pretty well thought out here. The water's gonna come off of the, the shed. Eventually it's gonna go into gutters, and then the gutters will come down and go into this, uh, this ditch. We moved a lot of the dirt back that way, raising the elevation on that end. There's a consistent downgrade all the way to this point, and then all the way out. We did put a sump here. What a sump is, it's just a little deeper hole here. And so we're gonna kind of bring the water in and it's gonna slow down and let the sediment drop right here before it gets to a certain point that's high enough to go on down this way. And eventually this will fill in uh, and, and completely you know, be level. We'll also till this out, we'll put grass out, and this should be able to be mowed with most any normal mower. So over here, we had a problem with the water coming from this hill. It would come down this hill and hit our, our culvert which is properly sized, but there was only like this much grade difference between right here and the culvert. So the, when the water would come really fast, it would easily run over and run downhill. So now we've pulled uh, another, you know, six inches back here. As we go down here, it's probably a foot higher. And again, this is this comes higher and then goes lower. So the rain that hits here is going to go towards the ditch. The rain that's in the water that's in the ditch is going to stay in the ditch and go down to the proper drain. Listen, I really appreciate you watching our channel. I uh, would like you to subscribe if you wouldn't mind. We're trying to grow our community and we're just having a good time doing this. God bless and have a great day. <laughs>